A new high-resolution image of the interstellar object 3I Atlas, captured on November 28 from a powerful telescope in Utah, delivered a forensic glimpse so sharp and so structurally unsettling that it reignited global debate over an object already steeped in controversy. The image, first analyzed by independent astronomers and later referenced in a widely circulated IB Times report, revealed a luminosity profile that bore none of the chaotic scattering expected of a natural comet. Instead, it showed directional brightness, defined gradients, and a strangely coherent core. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb publicly noted that the Utah frame resembled a controlled emission pattern, a phrase that sent shockwaves through the scientific world. The idea was not that 3I Atlas was artificial, but that its light behaved like something influenced, constrained, or shaped by an underlying process. Classical comet physics predicted turbulence, fragmentation, and unpredictable flares. But here was a frame that looked almost engineered, symmetrical in places where nature should be messy, concentrated where it should diffuse, structured where it should dissolve. Many dismissed the claim, insisting that odd lighting or observational artifacts could explain the effect. But for those who analyzed the Utah image closely, the sense of unease did not fade. It deepened. That unease only grew when two developments emerged almost simultaneously, and both pointed back to the same central question raised by the Utah image. First, a private research collective discovered that NASA's high-rise camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter had captured full-resolution, multi-band imagery of 3I Atlas that was quietly omitted from the public archive, leaving only a single degraded grayscale strip in its place. Metadata showed the camera had fired flawlessly across all channels, contradicting NASA's claim that the object was too dim to image properly. Then, the United Nations suddenly placed 3I Atlas under a planetary defense observing exercise through the International Asteroid Warning Network, an action normally reserved for high uncertainty or high complexity objects. The timing, secrecy, and global coordination effort contrasted sharply with NASA's insistence that nothing unusual was happening. Together, the metadata discrepancy and the UN mobilization formed a bridge back to Avi Loeb's initial warning. If the emission pattern was ordinary, why withhold the best images ever taken? If the object was harmless, why activate a system designed for potential threats? The same tension embedded in the Utah image now echoed across policy, science, and international response, creating the sense that 3I Atlas was not merely unusual, it was being treated as if it carried a significance not yet acknowledged publicly. These developments sharpened attention on the anomalies already surrounding 3I Atlas, particularly those highlighted in the IB Times report that sparked the controversy. The most striking anomaly was the structured luminosity itself. Comets emit light in messy gradients caused by uneven outgassing, tumbling rotation, and particle distribution. They flicker, flare, dim, and distort as jets of gas erupt from their surface. But 3I Atlas refused to follow the script. Its brightness remained remarkably stable over long periods, with gradients that aligned far too neatly to be random. Instead of a fuzzy halo, it possessed a tight, coherent core, whose intensity seemed constrained, almost guided. The Utah image revealed subtle banding patterns in the luminosity, the kind associated with controlled illumination sources rather than sublimating ice. Then came the sunward plume, an extension of material that appeared to point directly toward the sun, contradicting the expectation that solar radiation pressure should push dust and gas away from it. While there are edge case scenarios in which an anti-tail can appear to point sunward, the geometry here did not align with known conditions. The plume held shape longer than it should have, and its orientation shifted more slowly than models predicted. Add to this the reports of non-gravitational acceleration, a characteristic shared with only a handful of documented objects. Outgassing can cause slight deviations, but the deviations observed for 3I Atlas were unusually smooth and directional. They resembled thrust, weak, consistent and controlled, 
rather than the irregular nudges produced by sublimating volatiles. The anomalies didn't stop with the Utah image or the reported accelerations. Several observatories detected luminosity patterns inconsistent with dust scattering, suggesting reflectance differences across the object's surface. Others noted the absence of chaotic morphological changes, normally expected as a comet approaches the sun and undergoes rotational stress. Even its coma behaved oddly, forming a compact shape with defined edges, rather than the diffuse, ever-changing envelope common in active comets. These characteristics collectively defied straightforward classification. Each one could perhaps be explained individually, an unusual composition here, a strange rotational state there, but together they formed a constellation of behaviors that strained natural explanations. Loeb's phrase, controlled emission pattern, lingered not because it implied intelligence, but because it implied stability, coherence, and precision, qualities rarely seen in natural cometary activity. In a purely scientific context, such consistency should not be possible. Yet, while these anomalies fueled speculation and scientific intrigue, mainstream researchers cautioned strongly against jumping to extraordinary conclusions. They emphasize that interstellar objects form under conditions vastly different from those of our solar system. Their chemical histories, structural compositions, and thermal evolution diverge so dramatically from familiar comets that unexpected behavior is not only possible but likely. Some argue that the directional brightness seen in the Utah image could result from surface regions with unique reflective properties shaped by cosmic radiation or unusual mineral phases. Others suggested that a volatile mix, dominated by CO2, could produce stable gas emissions capable of smoothing out luminosity fluctuations. The sunward plume, skeptics said, could be an observational artifact caused by the viewing angle combined with large dust grains ejected at low velocity. As for the non-gravitational accelerations, they pointed to models showing how slow, continuous outgassing from a deeply buried volatile reservoir might mimic thrust. These explanations did not necessarily fit perfectly, but they provided enough plausible alternatives to keep the artificial origin hypothesis at arm's length. The skeptical perspective also highlighted that missing or degraded data is not proof of concealment. NASA handles enormous volumes of spacecraft imagery, and though high-rises archival standards are typically rigorous, errors can occur. Data may be omitted due to corruption, storage limitations, or quality thresholds. Skeptics warned that interpreting every gap as intentional would compromise scientific objectivity. They emphasized that claims of artificial structures or controlled emissions require robust, repeatable evidence, not anomalies pieced together from disparate observations. Nature, they argued, has the habit of appearing artificial when seen at insufficient resolution or when interpreted through the lens of expectation. For every mystery, there is a model yet to be developed, a precedent yet to be discovered, a mechanism yet to be understood. Interstellar objects are by definition unfamiliar. Unfamiliarity breeds anomalies. Anomalies do not automatically imply intelligence. But even if the skeptical explanations held merit, they could not fully dispel the cloud of uncertainty surrounding 3i Atlas. Too many elements remained unresolved. The structured luminosity seen in the Utah image has yet to be reproduced in a second independent frame, leaving scientists without the comparative data needed to confirm or refute the pattern. The missing high-rise channels remain unexplained, with NASA offering no technical justification for the absence of full-resolution multi-band images that the metadata clearly indicates were captured. The UN's decision to place the object under a planetary defense exercise also remains opaque, as no official statement has clarified why an object labeled harmless required global monitoring infrastructure. The sunward plume, the stable core brightness, and the smooth, non-gravitational acceleration persist as puzzles without consensus interpretations. Even the reflectance signatures, which could have helped determine the object's composition, remain incomplete due to the lack of higher fidelity spectral data. In a scientific environment that values clarity, 
Three Eye Atlas remains defiantly murky. This murkiness keeps the mystery alive. It encourages scientists to revisit their models, analysts to reread the metadata, and policymakers to consider the implications of an object that does not fit comfortably within known categories. The tension lies not in proving an extraordinary hypothesis, but in the widening gap between official narratives and technical evidence. If 3i Atlas is a natural comet, it is unlike any comet documented in modern astronomy. If it is not natural, the range of possibilities expands into territory humanity has never before been forced to consider. Either outcome challenges assumptions, from physics to geopolitics to the boundaries of scientific disclosure. The Utah image is no longer just an isolated frame, it is the spark that illuminated a larger pattern, one that stretches from telescopes to government agencies to the upper echelons of international policy. As 3i Atlas continues its passage through the inner solar system, the world watches with a mixture of fascination and apprehension. The object's true nature remains unanswered, suspended between competing interpretations and incomplete data. What began as a single controversial image has evolved into a scientific and political enigma. Whether 3i Atlas ultimately proves to be the strangest natural visitor we have ever encountered or something far more extraordinary, it has already reshaped the way humanity perceives the unknown. The mystery persists not because of what has been confirmed, but because of what remains concealed, unresolved, or unexplained. And as long as those gaps endure, 3i Atlas will continue to cast a long shadow across science, across policy, and across our collective sense of what may be possible beyond the boundaries of our solar system.